So what the heck am I doing here? That's right, I am doing rows on a hammer dip machine. And you may be thinking, what the heck are you doing? This looks awkward. Look at the way my upper forearms get kind of jammed between the weight plates there. That actually helps you keep things in a really nice groove. Sometimes that can be hard to keep your elbows where you want and they'll flail out in other exercises. So here you get to see this from another angle. I do strap in, uh, this is a very wide handle you're holding onto. This is the handle, it's not even a handle, this is where the plates normally go on, the sleeves, where you load plates onto the machines for dips. So it's a very wide handle. I also sometimes use this for one arm shrugs. Grab that and shrug it up. Uh, grab the whole carriage and shrug it up. But in any event, uh, here I am strapping in. I, I can do it without the straps, but it's just in general, I, I feel uh, I'm actually someone, unlike a lot of, a lot of bodybuilders, I actually do try to avoid straps as much as possible to work on my grip strength. But in any event, this is an exercise that I tend to use them on. You'll notice I keep my back fairly flat. Obviously, I bob up and down a little bit there, but uh, no rounding by any means. And just the line of pull, this motion, it just pulls in really nicely. And I'll actually tell you... Uh, in just a moment, I, I got this idea from watching uh, the Warhouse Gym, Dana Lynn Bailey and Rob Bailey's gym. Uh, they have this custom machine. I saw it, and I'm like, I can make something kind of like that from this kind of setup. So that's where I got the idea. Um, now here, you'll see my foot placement. So pardon me for spending all this time zooming on the feet, but it's like, where do you line up your feet to get that pull nice into the low waist? For me, I found that, um, it depends on the camera angle you see there, but basically those sleeves around like, uh, my foot, my toe, kind of splitting right at the middle of the, of the sleeve. So see that? The uh, tip of my toe is right in the middle of that. For me, I'm about 6'1 and a half uh, with shoes of almost, you know, 6'3. That gets me good. And then you'll see here uh, hand placement, kind of zoom in on that. That's where I found works well for me. Experiment with how forward or how backward your feet are. You may try this the first time and say like, ah, I don't like the feel or whatever, but you may have to experiment and then ultimately find out what works for you. Also going in on this hand grip, see? You can also, particularly if you're not using straps, loop your thumb on the inside there. You might tear up your thumb just a smidgen, but not too bad. And that will help you even better. Now hold on there. But here we go, another view of the actual footage training. And again, it just locks in those elbows really nice. I've only been doing this in the uh, 6 to 10 rep range. you notice there I get three plates on each side. Um, the heaviest I've done it so far is with three plates and 25s on each side. Now it's like, why would you want to do this? Like, why not just do a regular barbell bent row? Um, to me, it's, it's more kind of a matter of back freshness. Uh, my lower back, honestly, you know, doing bent barbell rows with a barbell, um, definitely going to uh, fry that up pretty good. And so again, if you're someone that is trying to keep your lower back fresh for deadlifting, squatting, things like that, then I think that this is a way where sometimes I feel like, you know, they say, oh, we'll just do seated rowing movements. And yeah, you can do that. But sometimes it's like, no, nah, I, I want to do something bent over. How do I do it, but still keep my lower back fresh? Obviously, this is still putting some strain on your lower back, of course, but I do find that I'm able to uh, kind of do this and then I could jump next day and something else and not feel like it affects it too much, again, in terms of squatting, deadlifting, stuff like that. So that's what I'm doing at the moment. I mean, also, admittedly, um, as many know, I had a pretty serious hip surgery back in April. So squatting and deadlifting for me is nowhere as near what it normally is. So perhaps that's some of also why I can get away with penciling this in. Maybe if those are at their full capacity, then I, I would still find this pretty taxing. But in any event, it's a new one that I've been trying, again, inspired from watching Rob and Dana's footage. Um, if you haven't seen that, look for it. It's on uh, Mutant um, Mutant, uh, Mutant TV. Uh, basically, Ron Partlow goes to train with Dana, and they're, they're showing them kind of the gym setup they got and all the custom equipment they made, and they have a row machine that kind of is like this. And I think you can just see, mostly when you watch the side angle of me doing this, just the way that pull is just really nice and comes right up in there in the lower waist. Just just feels really good. So experiment again with foot placement, experiment a little bit with grip width. You're going to be limited on a grip width a little bit based on how many plates you got on there. Um, straps or no straps, loop the thumb on the inside, and then uh, just try and pull and let it, you know, let those plates kind of brush in on your upper forearms and really keep you in a nice tight groove. And uh, I think you'll like this one.